so we're at Anchor Zap in Gummersluk. We only spent the night here. Very nice, nice and calm actually. Um, the clouds, as you can see, are quite thick and black, so we had some rain overnight. We expected some this morning, but so far so good. We're kind of hoping to have about 15, 16 knots of wind today and hopefully get us down towards Nidos. Good evening. Well, it's about, I don't know, quarter past six. We had a good sail today from Gummerschluck and ended up down at Nidos. Um, we had a bit of a dead patch on the way towards Nidos itself, which is quite normal. Um, we got into Nidos and we looked at the weather apps to see that there might be between 12, 14 knots of wind all night tonight. So we've made that decision, we had a couple of hours break and we're actually sailing overnight tonight and hope to get down to Bozicale, which is about, I don't know, 35 miles away. So even if it's a slow sail, we should get there by the morning. That'd be really nice. So we're trying a bit of goose wing and we're actually doing about between four and a half and five knots with that. Only got about eight and a half knots of wind. It's on the stove tonight. It may not stay on the stove. Got chicken and vegetable curry. Nearly there. So far, the wind is staying constant. We've got 11 knots of wind. We're still on goose wing, wing on wing. Um, we're currently doing six and a half knots. And the original plan was to go to Bozacarlo, but we're going to be there by half past 11 tonight at this rate. So we may just go a bit further if, um, if we keep up this pace anyway. We might actually try and get to Fetier, well, go check or Fetier by tomorrow morning. We'll just see how the wind goes anyway. How are we doing? Well, we're doing great. But then we had a big shift in wind direction, so we've had to drive the the Genoa across, which has put us in the wrong direction now, but yeah, we're still getting there. It's, we're doing nearly six and a half knots. So we've brought the main and the Genoa in a little bit for overnight, as the sun's just about to go down. And we're still facing the wrong direction. We're heading towards Rhodes at the minute, which would be very nice. Not allowed to go there just yet. But yeah, we're still sailing at what, five knots, four and a half? Yeah, five knots. Perfect. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, so the sun's gone down now, and um, what time is it? Um, eight o'clock. <laughs> yeah. We've got about 14 knots of wind, and it's right behind the boat, so we're on a run. So what we've done is we've taken in the Genoa now, and we're just running on the main. And to be honest, we've only got half the main out, and we're still doing five knots. So we'll stay like this as long as the night holds out with 14 knots. Um, I'll have to review it after that, but uh, not quite, a bad sail. Quite a big sea, so we're rolling around a little bit, but it's not uncomfortable particularly, is it? No, not at all, no. Well, we had a good sail last night. We set off, I don't know, about six o'clock in the evening. Um, the wind stayed pretty constant most of the way, and we sailed round the bottom of Simi. By the time we got to the bottom of Simi, we lost the wind a bit. Had to come through the island, so we put the engine on for about 45 minutes. And then we sailed the rest of the way up to Bozakali and we got in about one o'clock, got the anchor in the dark, which is not like us really, but we know the bay pretty well. We know where to anchor. So yeah, we had a good night's sleep, but the wind was just quite lively all night. Why are we going to Marmaris? Because we've been turned around by the Turkish Navy. What do you mean? Explain. Well, we were doing really well. Um, we've got about six, and a half, six knots, six and a half knots on it. A good course to go, Jack. And all of a sudden, one of the naval vessels turned up and told us we had to turn around and go to Marmaris. Or we had to go south or west. Um, and the nearest place was Marmaris because they're doing exercises today, which is great news. So we're now 
going back on themselves, basically. We're on our way, we're going to go check. Yeah, third time lucky. So explain. Sorry, well, yeah, um, well, we came down from Bozakala and we were turned back by the Coast Guard or the uh, Turkish Navy because we're doing exercises out here. Um, so we anchored up in one of the bays near Marmaris and tried to set out again this morning because we thought it, it had finished and uh, it hadn't, so we had to come back again. Um, so we're going to try again now and we've been told that it's finished. It finished at 7 o'clock tonight. Um, but it looks like we're going to be on the engine because there's no wind. Well, we made it to Gojek. We got here at half past one in the morning. Um, we had to motor all the way. There was no wind. We did try, we got the sails out, no chance. But we're in Round Bay. And we're going to go for a walk. It's nice, isn't it? Beautiful day. So we come in in the dinghy, we rode in, and now we're going to go for a walk, just to try and get some exercise. We've been on the boat since Monday, haven't we? We have. Without yeah. getting off. So, this is a train of caterpillars. caterpillars. We're not sure what they're called, but they come off the pine trees and they they're quite not poisonous but if like they if you, yeah if you get too close to them they kind of fire off a a um irritant and it irritates your skin come up in a kind of rash we've walked round from round bay towards tomb bay gosh it's quite warm today isn't it it is yeah especially when you're on a track that is well we're on a rugged. nature trail but it's yeah. marked as a a normal walk, but actually it's a bit overgrown, so really? it needs to be well worn a bit more. Yeah, the rest of the day we're going to uh, do a few boat jobs. I'm going to put some eyes on the dinghy so we can tie it down to the deck. We've got a few jobs to do inside the boat to clean the deck. So it's covered in salt again after yesterday, so uh, it's a bit of work to do there. Then stay here tonight, tomorrow morning, mid-morning, head over to go check, I think. Um, and then from there, the following day, we'll probably go to Fetty, I think. Yeah. So who yeah. are the friends we're meeting? Robin and Lisa and Brueggemann. They are friends that we met last year in go check. Um, they subscribed to the channel, so it was nice to meet them. They've got a boat themselves, a little gullet. So we're going to spend... A bit of time with them, probably have something to eat and a few drinks. So that'll be tomorrow. It's beer o'clock. Beer o'clock. Cheers. It's always beer o'clock. It is, you're right actually. What a beautiful evening. Gorgeous. It's about quarter past five, very peaceful in the bay, there are only two boats. We just left go check. I've been there for a couple of days now, I met up with some friends yesterday. And then we're on our way to Fetier to meet up with some other friends now. Um, Peter and Diane, who we'll be crossing the Atlantic with in January next year. Um, and a couple of others that are there at the moment. So this is going to be a nice few days. We've got about a week now before we actually cross over to Greece. So we're just going to laze around in, in the Fetier Bay, um, have a few drinks with these guys, uh, get the boat ready for the crossing, and then uh, on Sunday next week uh, we'll cross over to Rhodes. And that'll be Greece for another month. As it's so calm and we've got absolutely no wind, so we're on the engine again. Um, he's decided she's going to clear the bathroom. Um, these jobs have to be done. I don't know why she's doing it while we're underway, but there you go. And I say hello. Hi. Most glamorous job in the world. So after about an hour and a half on the engine, we've actually got some wind, about 15 knots on the beam, and it's great for sailing. Yeah, we've got a couple of reefs in the uh, in the Genoa. Apart from that, we're doing about six knots, and we've got about an hour to go before we get to Petier. We, just down, we have just slowed down, actually. Yeah, we're doing, okay. we're doing good.
from the um, marina. York, York Classic Marina. Yeah. And um, there's a cycle path that actually runs all the way around. It's brilliant, really good. Um, almost for miles long. Um, I'm still wobbly. I'm still getting used to being on the bike. But yeah, <laughs> so far I haven't fallen off. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, well, why not do it now? Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.